Well, if you listen really, really closely, you can actually probably hear in the background that this is one of those episodes that I'm recording just after waking up and before the coffee has been made. It's brewing right now. So welcome to the John Dulong Show. Welcome to your Monday morning nonsense. Welcome to episode number 27 of the John Dulong Show. I'm John Dulong. Come on in. Take a seat. Hope that you're having a good week. Hope that you, uh, well, I suppose it's Monday, so, you know, your week has just begun. I hope you had a good week. Um, this is going to be one of those weird shows where I just sort of turn on the microphone and I don't necessarily have a plan. Um, we, you know, there's like a handful of things that I want to talk about for sure. Um, we got some, um, we got some news about, uh, about Bill Cosby, of course, this week. We're going to talk about that. Um, little, uh, a little bit of, uh, wrestling action over in Saudi Arabia. We'll talk about the greatest Royal Rumble. Of course, the Liverpool Football Club. Uh, big win against Roma. Really annoying draw against Stoke. Um, I've got some talking to do about that. Uh, as well as um, big uh, big milestone for uh, for the Simpsons, which like they're, they're going to be running out of milestones soon. I mean, honestly... So, uh, yeah, all that and a uh, couple of rants, a couple of other things too, that I want to rant about. Um, this is the other thing that I kind of want to start doing on this show. Um, and, uh, you know, it's been a hot minute since I've had an email into uh, John Dulong show at gmail.com. Um, by the way, the coffee's ready, so I'm drinking that right now. And that kind of has me thinking. I was sort of thinking um, today, today's my day off as I'm recording this, um, I was, you know, I was, I was thinking maybe I'd get up nice and early and and maybe go uh, go somewhere to a coffee shop. Uh, of course, I worked late last night, so uh, getting up early didn't really so much happen. Um, my body needed the sleep. Uh, anyhow, the point is, is that I, I was going to get up, go out, do some work uh, at a coffee shop with a coffee, and then I sort of realized I, I don't really know uh, where to go for a cup of coffee that isn't like a, a, a Starbucks or a Just Us or something along those lines. Like, I don't really have a, uh, a coffee spot um, to go to for that sort of, uh, that sort of thing. Like, I mean, this is not to say anything, anything bad about, uh, about Starbucks or uh, about Just Us or whatever, like I, that I really enjoy those, uh, those coffee shops. It just kind of felt a little bit cliche and a little bit like maybe overcrowded on a, uh, on a, on a, on a weekend morning to, uh, to go and, and, and study at a, uh, at a, at a, at a Starbucks. Uh, that just sort of feels a little bit too, uh, a little bit too cliche. So I'm going to throw this out there and I'm going to try and throw out a, uh, a different discussion topic every single week from, uh, from now on. So you can email into the show, uh, John Dulong Show at gmail dot com, and uh, you know your, your your email will very likely end up on the show. So here it is: um, if you're in Halifax or if you're anywhere else in the world, you know, let me know where you are. Um, what's your favorite coffee shop? Where should I be going if I'm uh, if I'm looking to go and and study or work on some writing or work on something for the show? Um, what uh, what is your favorite coffee shop wherever you are in the world? So that's what I'm going to throw out there to you right now. So again, email into johndulongshow at gmail.com. And like I said, you'll probably end up on the air with it. It'll be a little segment from now on. And then I'll throw out the next week topic. It's I'm crowdsourcing content at this point, basically, is what I'm what I'm driving at. Um, maybe that's, you know, maybe that's what this uh, what this show is, is becoming. Um, because, I mean, the first quest of this show has been uh, has been reached um you may remember way back on episode number one of the john dulong show if you happen to have listened to it uh if you didn't i don't really blame you uh those first couple of episodes are a bit rough and weird um not to say that this isn't a bit rough and weird but i think i've got a higher ceiling at this point um you know back then we were sort of dealing with a certain a certain level it was kind of like a basement ceiling level now we're you know we're into at least like a main foyer uh, sort of level of uh, of you know just podcast excellence. I guess I don't know. I need to drink more of this coffee. Hold on. Anyhow, I just had a sip of coffee. Didn't 
you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna subject you to listening to that slurping noise. Um, where was I? Right. So the very first episode of the John Dulong Show, um, one of the very first topics that I covered was uh, was the milk and the little plastic seal over the milk. Um, turns out that the milk wasn't trying to kill me after all. Uh, I found out, I was talking to somebody, uh, somebody earlier this week and I found out the reason why they started putting those little plastic seals over the, uh, over the milk containers, uh, turns out that, uh, you know, the ones that they didn't have them on before, I should say, um, turns out that there was an issue where people were actually, uh, gluing the milk cap to the top of the milk so people couldn't open it so they started putting that plastic seal on there so that it would open i guess so there you go there you have it it wasn't a situation where they uh they found out that uh, that the milk was trying to kill them um so that that is uh, a really uh convoluted way of saying i need a new uh, i need a new quest for this podcast it needs a new raison d'etre i don't know if you know but that's what this show has always been about i don't know what this show is about anymore Oh, God. Okay, leaving that existential crisis behind us, um, I'll slip in a, a couple of corrections and addendums to uh, to last week's episode. Well, not so much corrections as, uh, well, I was wrong. Um, Mike Pompeo is now the uh, Secretary of State of the United States. Um, didn't think that that was going to happen. Uh, I thought that the uh, the ranking Democrats on the, uh, on the Senate uh, committee that is in charge of... Uh, of doing the uh, the hearings would have uh, maybe put up a bigger stink for that. But um, you know what, guys? It's not me that has to run in an election uh, and, you know, try and tap in to this, uh, this enthusiasm for, uh, for Democratic voters. Um, that's, uh, that's on you, not on me. Seems like uh, would have been better choice to just it's not like it's not like it's not like uh it's not like the republican party is going to um you know say okay well we were going to run all of these uh, all of these ads accusing accusing these democrats of being soft on crime and and letting in uh letting in terrorists through our porous borders and you know but like you know what they 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 let in pompeo so you know what i guess i guess we won't run we won't run these attack ads. Like, it's not going to go down like that. Like, let's be real. Um, you might as well, uh, you might as well do what you actually believe in because you're still going to get the actual, the same attacks. Don't do, don't do the thing that's politically expedient. Do the thing that's fucking right. Anyhow. Uh, the other bit, um, in, uh, in North Korea is doing okay news. Um, turns out the Korean war is over. That's interesting. I, I like. I knew that the Korean War was technically still on, uh, but it's one of those things that you kind of forget because there hasn't been like an actual genuine shot across the bow in forever. Um, so this is like this is actually intriguing. So uh, President of South Korea Moon Jae-in, and of course uh, Chairman Kim Jong Un of North Korea meeting together for the very first time i believe i read that this is the first time that the uh, the leaders of north and south korea uh, have met since 2000 in 2007 um kim jong il and the then president of south korea whose name is uh, i'm going to mispronounce this um it was president ro mu hyun maybe that uh, that might be the right, right way to pronounce it. I am sorry. Um, met uh, in North Korea in 2007. Um, uh, so uh, Moon was the uh, President Moon was the the first South Korean leader since 2007 to uh, to step foot in North Korea uh, when Kim actually sort of invited him to step over the demarcation line, um, and uh, and uh, Kim uh, Kim is the first North Korean leader to step foot in uh in so in South Korea since the uh the 1953 armistice I I'm not like a, I'm not like a buff on the North Korea uh, North Korean South Korean war I'm just I'm not um but uh this is this is huge like they they have agreed to uh to stop this uh war like there's actual like 
bilateral talks going on now. Like, I, here's the thing: I you, we can't trust North Korea. Um, we can't trust Kim Jong Un to uh, to be a reasonable actor. Um, what we can do, though, is you know, hopefully, if 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 South Korea is uh, is committing to not being aggressive to North Korea and South Korea's um, South Korea's uh, allies, particularly, you know, the United States being their biggest military ally in terms of uh, in terms of military force, uh, if they sort of fall into step with um, with South Korea's uh, plans in the in the region in terms of in terms of foreign relations and diplomacy, we could actually see like a bit of peace in that part of the world. Um, although <laughs> interesting, funny little bit that, uh, you know, the, the North Koreans, they, they promise that they're not going to, uh, they're not going to test any more, uh, nukes, uh, while the, the, uh, the summit with America is on the horizon. You know, it turns out that their nuclear testing site is just broken. So that's probably why, uh, <laughs> Like I love that. Like it's 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 so bad at their nuclear testing site that you can't test nukes there anymore. It's not safe to explode nuclear bombs. Oh my god. Uh so anyhow, like it's just kind of a, a strange world that we're starting to live in where things are starting to look up in a part of the world where I just didn't think that things were gonna ever look up again. I'm I'm on board. I'm happy about it. Um I feel like we're just sort of stumbling ass backwards into uh, into this new uh, new set of circumstances, but you know, you know what? Let's 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 roll with it. If it's good, it's good, right? Maybe I don't know. Um, so <laughs> that weird set of circumstances in Korea, uh, sort of behind us for this week. Let's uh, let's move on. We're gonna uh, we're gonna hear this little music, the music I normally play at this point in time in the show. And um, God, I love this song. Uh, and after this, we're gonna come back, and uh, I've got a rant. I got a rant to do. I, I was originally gonna make this part of the set of the rules. Haven't been able to uh, to work it around it because really, this is the whole reason for this set of the rules. Um, so we're gonna do, I guess, maybe one rule about. Uh, sharing a common office space. And it's about the bathroom, and it's something that I've been... It's been on my chest for a long time now, and I need to, I need to get it off. So after this, we're going to do that. All right, so as long-time listeners of the show may know, occasionally what I do is I uh, I bring you a set of rules for life. Usually it's five. Um, five rules for some section of life that uh, that at some point in time we all engage in, but there's no real, like, codified rules for. Um, but you know what? We all know that there are rules. We all know that the rules do exist. Um, we all know that we should follow said rules, but sometimes those rules that we just don't know what they are. And what I do is I provide the rules for you. I lay them out in plain English, usually with some cussing, um, to make it fun for me. And then you have the rules and you should follow them because I'm right. And you should listen to me today. As I said in a little intro bit there, I don't have five rules. I have but one. It has a few different parts to it, I guess. But really, it's just one rule. And it's a rule for sharing a common working space. And it's in particular about the bathroom. Now, I've worked in an office. I've worked in the same office now uh, for creeping up on six years. Um, I've been with this one company. And, uh, you know, something has been... It's been sticking in my craw for the last, the last, let's say, five years of that six-year uh, period of time, and it's uh, it's just it's gotten to a boiling point with me. Um, it's 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 
it's built and built and built and built. 